Oh, hello. I was wondering if you had a few minutes to talk about our Lord and Saviour. <coughs> if you don't mind. Oh, you do? Ah, oh, that's splendid. Shall I come in? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, a cup of tea would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. To be honest, normally people don't really invite me inside. They just tell me to go away. But I'm so glad to have someone that's interested in learning the ways of... <coughs> and perhaps embarking on a new and wonderful journey of both mind, body and spirit. Now, have you given much thought to the salvation of your eternal soul? No? Well, me and my church offer a number of ways in which you could be saved. Of course, following the word of the elders is the most important. We believe in finding a way in which to conduct oneself through life, so that our immortal soul may one day return to the all-consuming blackness and darkness that is the realm of the great cosmic entity, where our souls may finally rest and fester in eternal madness and damnation. Doesn't that sound splendid? You know, <coughs> has a plan for all of us, and even though you may not be walking on the right path now, there is always time for you to change and to save your soul and your mind and your body and ensure eternal damnation in the darkness and madness of the afterlife. You are, of course, welcome to come along to one of our meetings. We congregate on the shoreline every Friday night. Although I'm afraid you will have to bring your own black robe and candles until you are initiated into our order. But I'm sure if you're enthusiastic enough, that shouldn't be a problem. But you will not only save your soul, but the rest of mankind. Through our practices and worship, we appease the old gods so that they do not rise from the dark depths and slaughter all of humankind and life on earth, turning our world into a twisted realm of darkness and magic. <laughs> Through our various forms of worship, animal and human sacrifice, and other dark spells and magic, we are able to appease the old ones so that we can continue living in peace here on Earth. At least for now. Oh, but what's the matter? You've gone a bit pale, my dear. Are you feeling quite all right? You aren't interested in joining our order? Oh, my. I fear I may have said a little bit too much. A little bit too abruptly, perhaps. Oh my, well, you are the first person that's actually let me in their house in the past few months. And I fear I cannot go back to the order of failure, empty-handed, so to speak. So I just, just rest there a minute and look into my eyes. <laughs> look, look into my eyes. There you are. Do not look away. Look into my eyes and feel the dark tendrils of the old ones crawling into your mind, through your ears and your nostrils and your mouth, and down your throat and gripping around your heart. <sighs> feel as the darkness and the madness takes hold of you, dear. Ah, oh, yes. Now, just stay there. As my tendrils drip and rip through your flesh and your spirit and convert you into one of the mad ones, the followers of Kathor. <laughs>
Success will not take long. Stay there. Look into my eyes. And feel as your very consciousness is ripped apart. By the power. The dark. Oh. Oh. The coven need a new place to heal. Oh, yeah.